Hello everyone. So, on Hugging Face, there's recently been a new text-to-speech model popping up in the top trending charts over the last seven days. I've seen a lot of videos and social media content talking about this model. It's called Kokoro 82M, which represents 82 million parameters for text input and audio output. Basically, this is a text-to-speech AI model. Now, don't mix things up here. Text-to-speech is not the same as voice cloning or using RVC, retrieval-based voice conversion technology to clone your voice and generate sounds. Text-to-speech here simply means that when you input text, it generates audio. That's how it works. Some people have mixed this up before. I've seen it in the comment sections. Let's check out the files first. This is interesting because when you click into the files and versions, if you download this AI model for your TTS web UI, you'll get a very lightweight model size, around 300 MB. Even the FP16 version is half the size, at 164 MB. So these are very, very lightweight models, and they're also able to run on CPU, not just GPU. A lot of audio AI models support this as well, but of course, using a CPU will result in longer processing times. Here, I've checked out the demo on their official website. You can see they're using a web UI, or you can use an API call to generate the text-to-speech, but sometimes it might give you a bad gateway error. Yeah, you know, for startup companies, this happens. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to try the UI, of course, and do a demo of that. Check this out, we're seeing a very simple user interface that allows you to input text or upload text files. If you have a long form text and want to convert it to speech, you can do that here as well. The voice and MP3, you can generate the output as MP3 format or waveform, etc. It looks like their TTS service on their official website is currently down, but we don't need to use that to run this model. There's an alternative way to run this AI model, which I've discovered. There's a GitHub project page that shares a Google Colab script. Again, I'll link all this information in the description below so you guys can check it out. Maybe I'll put all this information into a single blog post so you guys can have everything aggregated and check it out at once. So this is the Google Colab script. You're able to run it in Google Colab very easily because it doesn't consume a lot of VRAM. That means you can even use the free version of Google Colab to run this. As you can see, I've already imported it into Google Colab. What you can do is download the .apynb file, which is the Jupyter Notebook file extension. Once you're in Google Colab, you can click on Files, go to Upload Notebook, and you'll see a drag and drop panel here. You can drag the Google Colab script from your desktop and drop it into this area. It'll load the script just like what I'm showing you right now. All you need to do is click the Run button, and this single cell in the script will kickstart the web UI. As you can see here, we've got the AI model downloaded from Hugging Face, which won't be affected even if the service on their official website is down. Coming back to Google Colab, we'll wait for the download to finish, and then it'll package and deploy Gradio. Once it's set up and launched, it'll show a public URL. You can click that for temporary access. You'll also have the web UI underneath the generate message. Of course, this area is very small, so we'll click the temporary Gradio link here. Once you're in, you'll see a very simple web UI, just like any other Gradio web UI. All you need is a text input, select the voice, and click the Generate button. One thing to mention is that this web UI, or this Kokoro TTS model, currently has some default voices for American English and British English, represented by the letter A for American and B for British. There's also F and M, which represent female and male voices. Let's try AF, which is the default American female voice that this model has. I've generated some random text for the speech line, Deep Seek. Let's try that out here. Okay, so we've got the result. It doesn't take very long to generate, just about 10 to 20 seconds for this sentence length. Let's check it out. We are not here to simply exist. We are here to conquer the impossible to transcend the limits of what has been done before, and to leave our mark on the stars themselves. Yeah, so as you can hear, this is a very stock AI voice that I selected, but the quality of the speech is a lot better than other open source TTS text-to-speech AI models. Many of them aren't even stable in terms of pronunciation, pause timing, or sentence flow. One model that's really good is the F5TTS, which I've reviewed in a previous video. You can check that out. It's quite similar in quality, but currently, 
Kokoro TTS is at the top of the leaderboard for text-to-speech AI models. Of course, we'll test this in the TTS arena, where we can do a side-by-side -side comparison with Eleven Labs. The second option for running Kokoro TTS is in Hugging Face Spaces, where the official author of this AI model has published the space. Again, I'll provide the link in the description below so you guys can check it out. This web UI has a lot more options to play around with. Here we've got US English, British English, French, Japanese, Korean, and Chinese Mandarin. These are the few languages currently supported by this AI model for generating speech. What this means is that some of these languages will be spoken fluently by the AI model. However, as they've noted at the bottom of the page, the tokenizer for Chinese, Japanese, and Korean doesn't handle English letters correctly yet. So if you choose Chinese Mandarin and type a sentence with one or two English words mixed in, those English words won't be pronounced well. If you type full Japanese or Chinese words without any English letters, it'll generate a good result. Of course, we'll test this in English, which is the standard that everyone should understand. Let's try another speech line here using the Hugging Face Space Web UI. We'll check the voice options here. You'll see some indicators. The star means the voice is stable, while the experimental ones are unstable. So let's try something like US, Michael. This voice has a star, which means it's stable. Let's generate and see. In the quiet moments, when the world around us fades away, we find the true essence of who we are. It is in these still waters that we discover the depth of our souls. Okay, this is kind of like an inspirational speech line. And yeah, it does well using this US Michael voice with this AI model. But I've noticed that while this AI model generates stable voices, there's a pause between sentences or after commas. It doesn't have the realistic sounds that Eleven Labs provides, like human breathing sounds. For example, in some of my voiceovers, you can hear those subtle breaths. But in this one, it doesn't have those human-like breathing sounds between sentences, which makes it feel a bit robotic at times. If there's a sudden cutoff, you can clearly see it in the waveform chart here. It suddenly stops, pauses, and then starts reading again. If people want to use an open-source text-to-speech model like this, they might need to fine-tune it to make it sound more natural. If there's a way to fine-tune this to add more natural pauses or breathing sounds, that would be ideal. But for now, we'll test it in the TTS arena and see how it performs. A lot of people have hyped up this AI model, claiming it's better than Eleven Labs. So, let's check if it's really better, or if the YouTube titles and thumbnails are just clickbait. I've got some text from DeepSeek pasted here, and let's check it out. I may not have it all figured out, but I've got enough to make you question everything you thought you knew. I may not have it all figured out, but I've got enough to make you question everything you thought you knew. Okay, so you can hear the difference between Eleven Labs and Kokoro. When you hear the first sentence from Eleven Labs, there's a subtle human breath sound at the end of the sentence, which makes it feel more natural. The tone of the voice also goes up and down, more like how a normal human speaks. In the waveform chart here, you can see that Eleven Labs has more waves going up and down, meaning the sound is richer and more dynamic. And in contrast, with Kokoro, the voice suddenly spikes up, finishes a sentence, pauses, and then spikes up again. There's no smooth transition between words or sentences. You can see the pattern in the waveform. Eleven Labs gradually raises the voice for one word and continues smoothly into the next. It looks and sounds more natural than Kokoro. As I've mentioned, Eleven Labs has trained their AI models from version 1 to version 2, and now version 2.5 with multi-language support. Even in languages other than English, they perform really well. For example, in another project, I use my AI voice clone to speak Mandarin fluently. So I'd give Eleven Labs the edge on this one. Let's give Kuroto one more shot. We've got another voice here, and let's try this text. The darkness may be all around us, but it cannot extinguish the light within. We must find that light, no matter the cost. In Eleven Labs, the first sentence ends with a subtle breath, and it continues smoothly into the second sentence. Let's see if Koroto has this kind of effect, 
or if the waveform is smoother compared to 11 labs. The darkness may be all around us, but it cannot extinguish the light within. We must find that light, no matter the cost. Well, of course, 11 labs does much better in the waveform graph here. Both services are using the same AI voice, but they're generating it with different algorithms and models. It's really easy to hear the difference between the two. I still give 11 labs the check mark on this one because it just performs better. But of course, for open source AI models, even ones with under 1 million parameters like this, it's performing really well. If you're not using 11 labs as the comparison, you might use something like fish speech, which is another popular one. Let's give it a shot with another sentence and try this out with both open source AI models on Hugging Face to see how they perform. Sometimes, the greatest courage is not in the roar of battle, but in the quiet whisper of hope that carries us through the night. Sometimes, the greatest courage is not in the roar of battle, but in the quiet whisper of hope that carries us through the night. So, both are very close but have different styles in terms of performance and quality, they're very similar, but this time, I like Kokoro more because the AI voice feels more confident and firm. Again, this AI model always has a very firm sound. When it goes through a sentence, it finishes the first part, pauses for about half a second, and then moves on to the next sentence. If they could fine-tune this model to smooth out the timing of the voice, it would have a better output. But still, I'll give Kokoro the checkmark this time. So yeah, so far, for open source AI models, this is pretty good already. The other one I mentioned earlier, F5 TTS, is also a good option, but this one, Kokoro, is clearer in sound and supports English, Chinese, and Japanese, languages I need most of the time, so I'm satisfied with it. If you're in content creation and need AI voiceovers to assist you, this is another good option, and it's free, so why not? But if you're comparing the quality between this and Eleven Labs, I wouldn't say this one is better. I've seen other people in their videos or social media posts claiming that this AI model will kill Eleven Labs, but that's just clickbait. To be honest, while this is the best open source option, it's not at the level of a professional or commercialized AI model like Eleven Labs yet. So, you guys can evaluate it for yourselves. If you want to try it out, feel free. It's all free to run, download, or use in Google Colab. For me, I prefer the lazy way using Google Colab to test it first. I don't want to download something just for testing. If it's a good model, then I'll download it and save it to my hard drive. But for demo purposes or testing, Google Colab is the way to go. So that's it for this video. All the links will be provided in the description, or maybe I'll list them in a blog post for convenience. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.